Little update here on the airflow modifications that I did to this 24 Mustang GT. I was trying to get the intake air temperatures down and one of the ways that I was doing that was this grill right here was all closed off. So on the previous video, I actually dremeled all these out and the hopes there was that the intake air temps would come down. And unfortunately, I have to say that the intake air temperatures did not come down. If they did, it was only a couple degrees and it's really nothing major. I did notice a throttle response difference. However, I don't think it's due to that. I think it's because I removed the carbon traps from the intake ducts right there. It seemed more peppy, more responsive and and had a little bit more power on the mid-range top end i really don't know because i was in break-in mode so i really didn't throttle it hard during that time we're still only at like 600 miles with this car but i will say the biggest difference came from i believe when i removed these carbon traps significant change in the car overall so that made me very happy because prior cars was a camaro and i had a bunch of torque which meant power down low and that's one thing on this car definitely didn't have the power down low and i do feel like i gained some power down low so by doing this modification right here to the grill, the concern is that water can go in there and you can ruin your air filters. And now the stock filters are paper filters and if they get water on there, they're going to get ruined. So if you're gonna do something like this, make sure that you understand the issues that could arise. So after I did that, what I also did was I ordered some Think air filters that I found off of Mustang 7G. And these are cleanable, reusable filters and they're not oiled filters. The reason I didn't wanna go with the oiled filters is because that mass airflow sensor right there, it'll grab the oil on there, and then that will attract the dirt that could pass through the air filters, and then it builds up onto the mass airflow sensors. And once that happens, you start getting misreadings, and we don't want any of that. So I stuck with just a cleanable, reusable Think air filter. It's a dual air filter setup, and it was 150 bucks. I definitely recommend you take a look at it. But in my case, I'm very happy because now I've got direct airflow into the air filters. Super easy installation for those air filters and it's quick and easy to go ahead. We'll just pop this cover off just so that way we can look in there one-handed. There we go. So I'm very happy with this. Now, I did not notice a difference in running these air filters. I think some people online mentioned that they did. My biggest change came from right here the carbon traps inside there or at least the time that i did that it might have been because i opened this up but honestly i don't think so i think the difference was there so stay tuned for more videos on this car as we get this from stock to something cooler than stock